Biology and physics often seem totally different. One studies the intricate details of living organisms, while the other delves into the fundamental laws that govern the universe. Biology looks at how life works, from the tiniest cells to the most complex ecosystems. It examines the processes that allow organisms to grow, reproduce, and interact with their environment, while physics explores the rules of the universe, from the smallest particles to the vastness of space. It seeks to understand the forces and principles that shape everything around us, but there's a surprise link between them, DNA and the idea of multiple universes. This connection bridges the gap between the microcosm of our genetic code and the macrocosm of the cosmos. This might sound strange, but it gives us a new way to think about reality, both inside us and out in space. It challenges our understanding and opens up new possibilities for exploration. DNA, the instructions for life, holds tons of information in its twisted ladder shape. Each rung of this ladder is a pair of molecules that encode the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms. It decides what we inherit from our parents, how we look, and even some aspects of our behavior. Our DNA is a blueprint that shapes who we are. And the amazing variety of life on Earth. From the smallest bacteria to the largest mammals, DNA is the common thread that connects all living things. Multiverse theories say there might be many universes, each with its own rules and realities. These theories suggest that our universe might be just one of countless others, each with its own unique properties. At first, these two ideas seem totally separate. One is rooted in the biological sciences, while the other is a concept from theoretical physics. But if we look closer, we see some cool similarities in how they're built and how they work. DNA's repeating patterns, the fractal-like structures, and the way it encodes information are reminiscent of the patterns we see in the cosmos. The way it stores information, much like a complex code, and how it can be read and interpreted to reveal the secrets of life and how it adapts give us clues about how multiple universes might branch out, evolve and interact with each other. Just as DNA can mutate and lead to new forms of life, the multiverse might have its own form of cosmic evolution, have backups and connect. This idea of interconnectedness and redundancy is a common theme in both DNA and multiverse theories. We'll explore this cool link between DNA and multiverse theories by examining these connections, we can gain a deeper understanding of both the biological and physical worlds. We'll see how DNA, the building block of life, can help us understand how multiple universes might work like a giant tapestry of reality. Each thread of DNA and each universe is a part of a larger, intricate design. Join us as we uncover the unexpected links between the super small and the super huge. Together, we'll journey through the fascinating intersections of biology and physics and discover how they shape our understanding of the world and beyond. DNA, the molecule with the instructions for all living things, is famous for its twisted ladder shape, called a double helix. This structure, discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953, has become an icon of modern science. The double helix is not just a static image, it's a dynamic living structure that plays a crucial role in the functioning of all living organisms. But inside this famous shape is a hidden world of amazing detail and organization like a tiny universe. Each twist and turn of the helix is meticulously arranged, ensuring that the genetic information is stored efficiently and can be accessed when needed. This organization is vital for the processes of replication and transcription, which are essential for life. One cool thing about DNA is its fractal nature. Fractals are complex patterns that are self-similar across different scales. This means that no matter how much you zoom in or out, the pattern remains consistent. This property is not just a mathematical curiosity, it has real implications for how DNA functions and is organized within the cell. Fractals are shapes that look the same even when you zoom in or out. This self-similarity is a hallmark of many natural structures, from the branching of trees to the formation of snowflakes. In the case of DNA, this fractal nature allows it to pack a vast amount of information into a very small space, making it incredibly efficient. They're made of smaller copies of themselves. This recursive pattern is not just aesthetically pleasing, it has practical benefits. For example, the fractal organization of DNA helps in the regulation of gene expression, ensuring that the right genes are turned on or off at the right times. 
We see this in DNA from the twist of the double helix to how it folds up inside our cells. The double helix itself is a fractal structure, and this fractal nature extends to higher levels of organization. As the DNA folds and coils, it forms increasingly complex structures, each level maintaining the fractal pattern. If we zoom in on DNA, we see the double helix, two strands twisted together like a ladder. These strands are made up of nucleotides, which are the building blocks of DNA. Each nucleotide consists of a sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The sequence of these bases encodes the genetic information. This helix is a fractal because you can divide it into smaller pieces that look like the original helix. This self-similarity is crucial for the replication process where the DNA makes copies of itself. Each new strand is a mirror image of the original, ensuring that the genetic information is passed on accurately. This continues as we zoom out. The DNA coils and folds into increasingly complex structures, each level maintaining the fractal pattern. This hierarchical organization is essential for the efficient storage and retrieval of genetic information. The DNA helix coils around proteins called histones, making structures called nucleosomes. These nucleosomes are the basic units of chromatin, the material that makes up chromosomes. The interaction between DNA and histones is crucial for the regulation of gene expression. These nucleosomes organize into fibers which fold and loop to make the compact chromosomes we see when cells divide. This higher order folding is essential for the proper segregation of chromosomes during cell division, ensuring that each daughter cell receives the correct genetic information. This intricate folding isn't random, it's controlled by genetic and other factors, making sure the information is stored neatly and used when needed. Various proteins and enzymes play a role in this process, ensuring that the DNA is correctly folded and that the genes are accessible when required. It's controlled by genetic and other factors, making sure the information is stored neatly and used when needed. This regulation is essential for the proper functioning of the cell, ensuring that the right genes are expressed at the right times. Disruptions in this process can lead to various diseases, including cancer. This fractal way of folding lets a huge amount of DNA fit inside the tiny nucleus of a cell. Despite its complexity, this organization is incredibly efficient, allowing the cell to function properly. The fractal nature of DNA is a testament to the elegance and efficiency of biological systems. Fractals, which we see in DNA, also show up in cosmology, especially in multiverse theories. These theories from physics equations suggest there might be many universes connected like a giant web. One cool thing is the idea of self-similarity beyond our universe. Just like DNA repeats its structure at different sizes, multiverse models often show universes nested inside each other, like a cosmic fractal. This is important for the idea of eternal inflation, which says our universe is just one bubble in a much bigger multiverse that's always expanding. In this idea, new bubble universes pop up all the time, each with its own rules and constants. The fractal nature of this multiverse is amazing. Each bubble universe, though different, could have more universes inside, like a giant tree of life with endless possibilities. This idea of nested universes is like how DNA is organized, where each level builds on the one before, making a complex system from simple repeating parts. Another cool similarity is quantum state branching. In quantum mechanics, when we measure something tiny, it picks one state out of many. Some multiverse ideas say that each possibility doesn't disappear, but creates a new universe where that outcome happens. DNA's main job is to store and share genetic information, the instructions for life. This genetic information is crucial because it dictates everything about an organism, from its physical characteristics to its biological functions. The DNA molecule is like a vast library containing all the information needed to build and maintain a living organism. Each cell in our body contains a complete set of DNA, which is tightly packed into structures called chromosomes. These chromosomes ensure that the genetic information is accurately copied and distributed during cell division. This information is coded in the order of nucleotides, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, the building blocks of DNA. The sequence of these nucleotides forms the genetic code, which is read in sets of three, known as codons. Each codon specifies a particular amino acid, 
the building blocks of proteins. The precise order of these nucleotides determines the structure and function of the proteins produced, which in turn affects the traits and behaviors of the organism. This four-letter alphabet of life tells our cells how to make proteins, the tiny machines that do all the work, and controls all the processes that keep us alive. Proteins are essential for virtually every function in the body, from catalyzing metabolic reactions to providing structural support. The process of protein synthesis involves transcribing the DNA code into messenger RNA, which is then translated into a specific sequence of amino acids. This sequence folds into a unique three-dimensional shape, allowing the protein to perform its specific function. This idea of information coding is also seen in multiverse theories. Just as DNA encodes the instructions for life, some scientists believe that the fundamental rules of our universe could be encoded in a similar way. These theories suggest that our universe might be just one of many, each with its own unique set of physical laws and constants. The concept of a multiverse opens up fascinating possibilities for understanding the nature of reality and the origins of our universe. Like DNA holds instructions for building a living thing, Multiverse models suggest that the rules of each universe could be coded into reality itself. This means that the fundamental constants and laws that govern our universe might be just one possible configuration among countless others. In this view, the multiverse is like a vast cosmic library, with each universe representing a different book, each containing its own unique story. This is important in string theory, which tries to unite all the forces of nature. String theory proposes that the fundamental particles we observe are not point-like objects, but rather tiny vibrating strings. The different modes of vibration of these strings correspond to different particles and forces. By unifying the forces of nature, string theory aims to provide a comprehensive framework for understanding the fundamental structure of the universe. String theory says the universe is made of tiny vibrating strings, and different vibrations make different particles and forces. These strings can vibrate at different frequencies, and each frequency corresponds to a different type of particle. This elegant idea has the potential to explain the diversity of particles and forces observed in nature, and to provide a deeper understanding of the underlying principles that govern the universe. In a multiverse, each universe could have unique string vibrations, coding different physical laws. This means that the properties of particles and forces could vary from one universe to another, leading to a rich diversity of possible worlds. Some universes might have physical laws that are very similar to our own, while others could be radically different. The idea of a multiverse challenges our understanding of reality and suggests that our universe might be just one of many possible configurations. This is like DNA, where the order of nucleotides makes each organism unique. Just as the sequence of nucleotides in DNA determines the characteristics of an organism, the specific configuration of physical laws and constants in a universe determines its properties. This analogy highlights the idea that information encoding is a fundamental principle that can be applied to both biological and cosmological systems. Also, like DNA uses backups and organization to protect information, multiverse models often have ways to keep things stable across huge scales. In biological systems, mechanisms such as DNA repair and redundancy help to maintain the integrity of genetic information. Similarly, in cosmological models, certain principles and mechanisms might ensure the stability and coherence of the multiverse, allowing it to persist over vast timescales. Some theories suggest a landscape of universes, each with different rules, and some areas are better for life than others. This concept, known as the multiverse landscape, proposes that different regions of the multiverse might have different physical laws and constants. Some of these regions might be more conducive to the development of life, while others might be inhospitable. This idea has profound implications for our understanding of the conditions necessary for life and the potential for its existence elsewhere in the multiverse. This multiverse landscape is like fitness landscapes in biology. In evolutionary biology, a fitness landscape represents the relationship between genetic variation and reproductive success. Different regions of the landscape correspond to different levels of fitness, with peaks representing optimal adaptations. 
Similarly, the multiverse landscape might represent different configurations of physical laws, with some regions being more favorable for the emergence and sustainability of life. Like living things adapt to their environment, universes could go through cosmic evolution, with those good for life lasting longer and maybe creating new universes. This process of cosmic evolution suggests that universes with favorable conditions for life might be more likely to persist and potentially give rise to new universes. This idea draws a parallel between biological evolution and the evolution of the cosmos, highlighting the potential for adaptation and change on a cosmic scale. Mutation, the driver of evolution, changes DNA, creating different traits that can be passed down. These changes can happen randomly or because of the environment. Most mutations don't do much or are bad, but some help survival, driving natural selection. Similarly, branching in multiverse theories is like mutation in evolution. Just as mutations create new branches in the tree of life, quantum events can make new universes, each different from its parent. This multiversal branching is key to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. This idea says every quantum measurement splits the universe with each possible outcome happening in a separate universe. This creates a huge ever-growing multiverse where every possibility happens somewhere. This is like the many branches and dead ends in the tree of life where mutations have created many species, some successful, some not. Also, like DNA has ways to check and fix errors, multiverse models often have ways to keep things stable on a huge scale. For example, some theories suggest a cosmic censorship idea which says that unstable areas of space-time are hidden so they don't mess up the whole multiverse. 